Hello, YouTube. Here's another quick video since I was already having to do it. So I thought I'd let you see it. Um, we are going to go ahead and we've created a new, um, we've created a new, uh, VM that's running in as a, in a guest OS, which is my windows machine. And we've set up SSH and now we're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to access that system. So I looked up the IP number, I logged into it, looked up the IP 192.168.1.12, see it there on the screen. And then we're going to edit. We've already installed Git Bash, and so now we're going to edit SSH slash config. Um, and we added a host called Anton, gave it the name there, and the default user. Uh, there's some other stuff here that I don't need. And so now it's there. So now I can SSH into Anton. But you're probably wondering, oh, let's, you know, let's do this thing. How can I make it so I can access it automatically so I don't have to do it all the time? You can probably see it on the screen already. There's this really cool command called SSH copy ID. And this exists anywhere SSH has been installed. You can do this at work. You can do it at home. SSH dash copy ID. So rather than log into Anton for the first time and have to type the password and all that stuff, we're going to go ahead and do that right away. Since this is a brand new VM and every, every, as soon as we connect to it, it'll remember it. So here we do it. SSH, same thing. SSH copy ID Anton. And it asks us, it's like, hmm, I need to put some stuff over there. So we already have our SSH keys installed. Um, we already set that's because we set up SSH on this machine, which is, I'm not covering right now. It said, are you sure you want to trust it? That's a protection against man in the middle attacks. There's no middle here. There's just a virtual machine and a host. The middle is on the same computer. So we don't ever have to be afraid of that. And generally you don't need to be afraid of that, especially if you're using your own lab or stuff. That would only be if you were trying to SSH into a machine that's on the internet. And then you'd want to be absolutely sure that no routers in between there are not, you know, nefariously stealing your credentials. Um, so are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay. So, um, we're going to use fingerprint. That's a new one. I didn't see that one. Okay. So what this does is this actually saves a fingerprint unique identifier for that particular host, which will come up later potentially. So like, for example, if the, uh, I, this, this only burns people when they change their IP, let's say you, you create a new VM and you want to use the same IP number, right? You use the same one and it's like, I'm sorry, someone's trying to attack you. So that's what that's about. Um, let's see, it says info attempt to log in with new key to filter out that they are already installed. This is can't be established. Why not? Well, maybe I, maybe I did it wrong. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Wait, wait, how come it's not typing? Okay, there. All right. So we only have to log in this one time. So it's using password login. So I use my super ultra secret password. And there we go. So now I'm in, right? And it, it's, um, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused because it just logged into my old system. I, I, either way, this system is supposed to be down. What the hell is happening? That's very odd. It's, it's I think it's because I, I named it the same as the other one, and I accidentally I accidentally restored my other one. And it doesn't matter for you for you watching this video. Um, it's going to be a, ge a generic prompt. Actually, that's kind of cool because that fixed my thing. Anyway, so you click exit now, and well, you know it'll go out. So you have to open up a new browser. Let's do that. New Git Bash. Why do you use Git Bash? Cause it's awesome. SSH Anton. Um, there we are. Okay, so now we're on the new Anton. Which has got me very confused, but oh well. So, so this is the one, right? So this is Anton, and and now you type exit, and it just gets you off. And you type SSH, it takes you on, and off, and on. See that? How cool that is? Uh, and that's because it remembers you, and it put the it put the keys over there. So that's all for that video.